Haley Dill. So glad that you are um, looking at and um, here today to be baptized. And so how, how did you get to the, wanting to be baptized and wanting to be here today? Um, well, I guess I was always a Christian. My family just kind of expected us to be Christians. Um, we didn't go to church every Sunday. We went on Christmas and Easter and just considered that good. Um, I chose to go to church on my own when I was younger, but it was kind of just social, and I just wanted to hang out with people. And then I just had a wild spell, and I went through a lot of things that I feel like a lot of college kids go through, and um, I got out of a really bad relationship, and just kind of as a last resort, it hit me like, I'm not a Christian, I'm just a believer. What convinced you that you weren't a Christian? Just my actions. Um, like I said, I've always considered myself a Christian. Um, I always questioned God when things were going wrong, you know, asking Him why. Um, I always praised Him when things were going great. But the in between was what I really had a problem with. I really abused His grace. I abused the fact that He forgives me and I would do something and go home and feel bad about it, but not too bad because, oh, He forgives me, it's okay. Um, I always considered myself a good person, but I just because I did things for others, not necessarily because I was a good Christian. Um, and so I, I don't know, I just hit rock bottom and it just, I thought I'd try it because there was nothing else to try. What's life been like since you uh, came to that point in your life? I'm not gonna sit here and say it's amazing and it's easy. Um, I have temptation every day. I have struggles every day, um, but I've never studied the Word like I have in the last few months. Um, I've never prayed like I have in the last few months, um, and it's just a fulfillment that I've never had before now. And um, I had so many worldly things that just kind of I used to fill me up, but there was always something missing. And I lost a lot of friends through this whole process and through changing my life, but I've gained a lot, and I mean, I've gained my best friend in Jesus. and. It's so cliche to say, but it's so yeah. real. Like, it's yeah. so real. It's true. That's true. Well, what does this baptism mean for you? I guess my biggest thing is accountability. Um, I think that professing that I am and sharing with everyone that I'm becoming a true Christian and I'm, I don't want to sit on the sidelines anymore. And I just I want to show, like, I'm determined to show the world who Jesus is and what he can do for you. I love that perspective on, uh, on baptism and how, you know, this is your, you putting yourself out there for other people. You open it up for people to hold you accountable to the, the life that God and Christ wants us to live. And so that's cool. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people here today? I guess my biggest thing is don't abuse his grace. Um, I actually watched someone else's baptism video and, um, he talks about it like grace isn't a license to sin it's don't just sit in your sin and let God forgive you over and over again because that's not what it's for it's to transform you and to transform your life.